So you got a cool keyboard. It's got MIDI in, it's got MIDI out. You want to use it in Pro Tools to record MIDI and audio, but also use it to control virtual instruments. <laughs> Recently, my producer friend, Trackstabber, he dropped off his microchord synthesizer vocoder. And we got to thinking, sometimes when we're playing keys on the chord, they're not on beat. So we need to quantize them, and that happens within Pro Tools. And then we need to send the information back out to the chord so we can get the new audio recorded. And the way to do that is using the MIDI in and MIDI out. So on my Focusrite audio interface, it also has MIDI in and MIDI out. So we went out to the store, we got some live wire cables, uh, which are MIDI cables. This will allow us to send the information out from the cord into the Focusrite or Pro Tools and back out the Focusrite or coming from Pro Tools into the cord. So it's as simple as taking the MIDI out from the Focusrite and sending that through this wire once we get it around here. Yep, there we go. There we go. Grab that wire. All right and plugging it into the in of the cord. So out from the focus right into the cord. Now we'll take the focus right in and send that to the out portion of the cord. So the information that's going out of the cord as we play the keys will then be recorded into Pro Tools. Now we'll deal with the audio portion. So this is a cord analog synthesizer. So what we'll need to do is record the audio. We'll use the left mono out and that will be sent to Pro Tools to record on an audio track. We'll now check to make sure we're connected to the right input and send some signal so we ensure that we're on the right track. Now we see the signal, let's launch Pro Tools. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section and make sure you subscribe. Once Pro Tools launches, we'll click on the Options tab at the top. From the drop-down menu, we'll ensure that we've clicked on and have enabled MIDI Through. Once that's been done, we'll create three tracks, an audio, a MIDI, and instrument track. We'll make sure to label these so we keep track of what's happening in the session. Doesn't really matter what you name it, as long as you understand what it is. On the instrument track, we'll load up Mini Grand. It doesn't matter what you load, we just want to make sure it works. Once we have the audio signal coming in, we'll now record a quick track. In this example, we're using the Chord Keyboard as a MIDI controller for the virtual instrument. We'll go ahead and take off this front part and we'll do a quick playback. So now that the MIDI notes are recorded, what we'll end up doing is either dragging down this selection or hitting Option Click and dragging it down to copy that selection. Once it's copied into the MIDI track, the one in purple, Pro Tools will send the information back to the chord so we don't have to replay the notes that we played first in the virtual instrument and we'll be able to record the audio. As you can hear, the MIDI information was sent to the chord without anybody having to play any of the notes again and it transmitted the audio back into Pro Tools. Now let's say we wanted to audition a couple of sounds. We'll go ahead and duplicate the tracks here, and then we'll change the instruments as the MIDI notes are being played back. Now that we know how to copy MIDI notes that were played on a virtual instrument and send it back to the chord without having to replay it, let's now use the chord to record the MIDI and audio first and then transfer those MIDI notes into a virtual instrument. Let's find a sound first. Oh yeah, that's the one. Alright, let's go ahead and record that MIDI information and audio. Now that the MIDI and the audio has been captured, let's say it's exactly the way we want it. 
We'll go ahead and highlight the MIDI, option click and drag it up to make a copy. We'll then select whatever virtual instrument, in this case it's the mini grand, so that the notes play back without us having to play them. Let's listen. Now that the virtual instrument has the same MIDI notes as the audio we played with the Korg, we can now play them both back and do a combination to our liking. Let's listen. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out my other videos. Please subscribe, drop a comment, say hello, let me know you're out there. As always, take care.